to Preston. Um, Meryl Streep's a pretty big get, obviously. She is indeed. Um, She's also an alumna, which is wonderful. Right, and and you know, I feel like you know Meryl is honored every year for her film work, and you know, I, I'm sure she's been honored for her theater work as well, but not nearly as much. So, I mean, was that kind of in the in the Absolutely. process? Of Absolutely, and uh, so much, even in her work in film, and that's something that we'd like to recognize here tonight, she's brought American playwriting to a much wider audience through her choices of roles to play. Uh, so many, like Angels in America, Doubt, at the upcoming Into the Woods. Those are big, giant American plays that are going to see a much wider audience because she chose to play a role in them. It's so different, like all of them. Exactly. I mean, we don't need to praise her, right? I mean, she gets enough. But, <laughs> but talk to me a little bit about, you know, the story behind it. Like, you know, actually, how did you land on Meryl Streep? She uh, has been wonderful to us ever since uh, being with us in 1975, been a big supporter, and especially for her classmate, Wendy Washington, who also went through uh, our program and developed Uncommon Women and others. So uh, she's had a long uh, collaboration, long support relationship with us, and for our 50th year, we could think of really nobody better to honor uh, than her. She has said many times how much of, how many lessons she carries with her in her career uh, from her time with us way back when, when she was 26 years old. Uh, she she did five plays in four weeks, so a play went up at every four days of rehearsal. So that she was, uh, as she tells it, that she had to make a choice very quickly uh, as an actress, and that was a lesson she learned and carries with her. And so she's very kind to say so. Yeah. You realize you kind of shot yourself in the foot for next year, because like know. you know, how do we go? Where do we go next? But totally go in a different, totally different direction. <laughs> like I don't know, Carrot Top or something. Absolutely, yeah. these are good problems to have. <laughs> well, good luck tonight. Thank you so much. So, so is there a Meryl Streep film that you know maybe goes under the radar that that you're a fan of that you can share with me? I think it's it's complicated. Right? I became a huge fan the first time I saw her in Kramer vs. Kramer, and then Sophie's Choice was the other one that was, you know, a big one for me. But it's complicated. It came out a few years ago, and I, I've I've watched it about 150 times. Wow. The character that she creates is just somebody that I want to know her. Yeah. I want I want to be like her, that character. Do you think because her film work is so impressive that people kind of forget that she's got this past, you know, with theater? Probably. Yeah. But doesn't I think everybody starts out in the theater because you don't have high school filmmaking troops. You have theater troops, so right. and then you spring from there. Right. So let's move away from Meryl Streep because everyone's going to be drinking the Kool Aid tonight, and rightfully so. Um, what are you working on? Because I want to see you back on Broadway, and I think you are, right? Well, I, I've been soon? doing movies lately, yeah. and also lots of freelance work, right. waiting for that next Broadway show that's just right for me. Yeah. But I have two movies coming out. Um, one's called Muckland, and that's coming out this year, and I'm going to shoot a, kind of a big one for me this summer. I play a mom who starts a rock band, and I'm actually a songwriter and a musician, yeah. so that's... That's kind of a cool thing for me to be able to do. What's the name of the band in the movie? It's called Sugar. It's All called caps Sugar. with an exclamation point. Yeah. Awesome. Well, come back to Broadway. Please. Oh, yeah, I can't <laughs> wait. Oh, just write something perfect for me. Oh, sure. And then we'll figure it out. In about 15 years, I'll come up with something. Okay, sounds good. All right. <laughs> good to see you again. So, so okay, yes. you, you, do, you do a show that's great, Broadway. <laughs> then, great. That, that, yeah, which is like already like bucket list worthy. And then... You're working with Meryl now, right? Yeah, she was a cool cat, man. Already, we already finished the project, so. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, it was into cool. The, I should say Into the Woods, so. Yeah. So talk to me a little bit. How many scenes did you have with her? A few. I heard she's very difficult to work with, obviously. Our you know, every, everyone's just complaining the whole night. No, yeah, no, she's, uh, she's a cool cat, man. It's, uh, it's really nice she's being honored this way, because I don't think she has enough awards, actually, so. <laughs> she needs to go. like theater awards, at least, right? I, dude, I remember in college studying Mother Courage. Yeah, Mother Courage. We, yeah? We went to college together. Yeah. Okay. Like that. Yeah, and we would study and her the doing it. when she did it in the park. Yeah. Here's, here's what I think she should do, okay? I think she should phone in a professional performance and go for the Razzie like intentionally really? go for it right that's the film one that's the yeah, yeah. Oh, that's Sandra yeah Bullock won it. like she won the Oscar and then won the yeah that's, yeah all about the Steve. same the same year yes yeah. <laughs> yes which is not as bad a movie as some people might think I haven't yeah. seen it, no it is it really is no it's a bad movie no it's fine no no it's okay so what's what I, ha I hate asking questions that everyone else does but like what are some of your favorite roles that Meryl's been in she devil I'm guessing that's, so that's mine oh it's she devil <laughs> Sophie's choice. Well, this is a choice. You can only choose one. This is like Sophie's choice all over again. the boy, and he went to his grave knowing that. She did. Oh. You can, that's, like, that's like a spoiler alert like 30 years later. 
So I think that's okay. Seen it by now. Right? Yeah. I think it's okay. What was another? I love the It's Complicated. I'm sorry. I thought that was so cute. A very good. pleasant. I enjoyed it. Movie. And her, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, Steve, Steve Morton. Morton. Yeah. yeah, it was really good. I that, that was a cute yeah. one. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, enjoy, enjoy tonight. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thanks for being here, Yeah, thanks. So let me let me throw this this generic question at both of you first, just to start. So Merle, it seems, is is honored and rightfully so so much for her movies. Is it nice to just be at an event where they're honoring her roots in theater? Yeah, that's a really good point. Right. Uh, right. It's wonderful to be here to do that. Yeah. yeah uh, uh, that she has roots in the theater, and that she's such a classy individual. Those two things alone make me show up. That's one of the reasons we're here. Now, you went to school with her. Was she Was she always just, I mean, she seems extremely humble for someone who has every reason to just totally not be. So, was she always... Well, she's two know. years behind me, so okay. in my third year, she was a first-year student. I did have the pleasure of directing her a couple of times in student productions. She was already a terrific actress. Could you tell she was going to be an unbelievably dynamo, an unbelievable dynamo? No, but you knew she was going to be terrific and work all the time. That uh, those other and factors. She was are... always a hard worker. Oh yeah. 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 She was always a hard worker, and it paid off. Do you have like a my voice cracked there? So congratulations on witnessing me going through puberty while I talk to you. Um, no, you're handling it really. I well. I really feel like I've grown. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> do you have a favorite uh, film or a film role? And you know, so, you know, it's all subjective. But I'm I'm just For curious. Meryl? I'm Meryl, yeah. Well, someone else that asked us that, and I said Sophie's Choice, but then I remembered that I love the Devil Wore Prada. Right? I just love that. I mean, I think I think oh. for someone like her, it's almost you have to ask, is there a least favorite role? Because there's just so many, and you know, I don't, well, and that's then not the possible. same person could play that role in Sophie's Choice, who played the role in the Devil Wears Prada. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. Sophie's Choice was hilarious. Yeah. And yeah. the Devil Prada. <laughs> Broadway. Yeah, I, I couldn't stop crying. Yeah, yeah, I mean, very, very sad. So, um, tell me what you're working on. I hope it's something else with Tim Burton. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm here for the Tribeca I, Film Festival, okay. a movie called Boulevard with Robin Williams, and I just did a movie called Age of Adeline with Harrison Ford. So, yeah. Keep working. I'm still working. When Meryl doesn't want the part, then it dwindles and dribbles down, <laughs> and eventually. I get to maybe try to do it. <laughs> well, my favorite role is still Edward Scissorhands for you. Thank but you. You probably get that, that a lot. Pretty sad too, <laughs> and to cry your eyes out on that. It was, but it was happy sad. You know, you didn't have to pick a child. <laughs> I mean, oh God! I don't think, oh unless there's like a, an Easter egg. Scenes. There's an Easter egg. Well, I don't know. Well, enjoy the night. Thank you Thank so you. much. Pleasure. Everyone's probably asking you this, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. Favorite, yeah. favorite Meryl Streep role. Yeah, we were just talking about Devil Wears yeah. Prada, and, okay. and I mean, it's pretty fantastic. Yeah. It's like, anytime it's on, I'll watch right. it. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. All right, least favorite. No, I'm kidding. No, no, I'm never. I'm kidding. Who would Absolutely do that? Absolutely not. Who would do that? <laughs> Who would ask that question? I would. I, I just did. <laughs> you just did. Yeah. <laughs> so talk to me a little bit about, you know, she's, she's such a rock for a lot of people, Meryl, and, you know, an icon to follow a career path and everything. Absolutely. How'd she inspire you? I mean, I think that... Inadvertently, obviously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, not, but watching her work and watching how honest she is on camera and how she kind of fully commits into the subtleties of, of morphing into a new role, it's very inspiring for, you know, that, that in any piece you can, in any role, in any piece you can bring parts of yourself, you know, to an, a very iconic person or a very iconic role and make it your own if you're, you know, um, in Julia and Julia, like, you can right. still be Julia Child, but you can still be Meryl Streep. You know, right. it's it's right. it's fantastic. She was more Julia Child than Julia Child was, right? <laughs> yeah, right. I think. Whatever that means. Um, so, is there is it ever difficult to kind of totally connect with a with a role you're playing? Like, do you ever? You know oh, what I'm sure. trying to say? Sure. Yeah, I think. Like you know, today, I'm trying interviewer out. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You're doing really well. Thank you. Um, Thank you. I think that there are, there are definitely times. You know, I, you start reading a script and you go, okay, well. This isn't to this part is not totally me, or this is not how I would um, act. I'm currently um, playing Adrian in Rocky right. Uh, right on oh, Broadway, you were awesome, yeah. and so, thank you. So yeah. it's uh, so, you know when I first read it, I'm like, 
she's quiet. She just doesn't know what she wants. She's scared. And, yeah. and, and sometimes it was hard to connect to that. But because we've all felt those things, it's just about uncovering, you know, where your connection is to it. It also helps, I think, that your character gradually. Yeah. Kind of, I mean, by Rocky IV, she was just like, <laughs> like you can win! Right. And they, and they right? put a bunch of that, yeah. you know, like that blossoming into yeah. our piece, which is so fortunate for yeah. me, you know, yeah. that she finally gets to like, stand up for herself by the end. Did you want to be part of the to the big end scene more than, you know, facing the crowd? Did you just want to, like, I it. wanted to just like, and you're like teased every night. Every night, I watch it from backstage. I peek through the curtain. Yeah. I watch the audience. I watch the fight because how can you not want to watch that? It's ridiculous. I mean, it's thrilling. So, it yeah. is thrilling. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not in it, so it doesn't sound like I'm chilling. You know what? You come back and you sit, did you sit on stage? I didn't. Okay. You but come, I, I and think then you I was, feel like you're I in was it. just at the cutoff. I, I felt totally fine. Like, okay, good. I didn't know if the distance on the stage would be a little bit <laughs> yeah. different. I don't yeah. know. I'll come back and see. I yeah, don't know. come back. Yeah. We'll, ha we'll have you anytime. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Nice to Thank meet you. you.